it must be understood that the reason for your creation is a vision on the heart of God. He created you to extend his dominion in the heavens into the sphere of the earth. And that is what makes man a critical factor in the creation of God. Satan, therefore, will consider man an object of attack, an object of emphasis, because if he can derail man, the implication will be that God will be unable to extend his dominion into the visible realm. So you are God's entry point into your family. You are God's entry point into your office, your place of work. You are God's entry point into your nation. But that is dependent on the fact of whether you are yielded to God's authority in the first place. Man is a critical factor in the subject of the kingdom. Hallelujah. We are designed to be expressions of God. We are designed to be carriers of the authority of God. And the Bible says that he called them gods unto whom the word of the Lord came and the scriptures cannot be broken. We are going to proceed this morning and we are trying to really understand what exactly the kingdom of God means before we go into detailed teaching on its administration and what God does to you as an individual Christian that will enhance the manifestation of his dominion upon the face of the earth. So I have simplified it as much as I could to give us an understanding of what exactly the kingdom of God means. Number one, God's kingdom is equivalent to his dominion. God's kingdom is equivalent to his dominion. Daniel chapter 4 verse 34 and 35. God's kingdom. So anywhere God begins to dominate in such a place his kingdom is. His kingdom is equivalent to his dominion. Now what I want to read for us in the book of Daniel chapter 4 verse 34 has to do with the personal testimony of Nebuchadnezzar. When God dealt with him. God dealt with him by his authority. And after the dealing was accomplished, he had a testimony. And this testimony is in the book of Daniel chapter 4, verse 34 and verse 35. And at the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up my eyes to heaven and my understanding was returned unto me. That was the same Nebuchadnezzar that prided himself as a god of gods, as a king of kings. That's the Nebuchadnezzar, the same Nebuchadnezzar that um, made himself an object of worship. And God decided to exercise his authority over him, seeing that he is, if you are not, are you with me? If you are not in the body of Christ, that doesn't limit God. You are still part of his creation. So he still has authority over you. So he can judge an unbeliever. But you see, the thing about you being in the body of Christ puts you in a category that I'm going to explain in a few minutes now. It puts you in a different category and there's a different way he exercises his authority, his dominion over your life. If you are still with me, say amen. amen. But this is an unbeliever. He said, at the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up my eyes unto heaven and my understanding was returned unto me. It means God took away his understanding. He began to model himself like a beast of the field. And that was uh, an act of God's judgment on his life. And the reason why God has the right to judge is because he is part of his creation. His understanding was returned unto him and I blessed the Most High, and I praise and honored him that liveth forever, whose dominion is what? An everlasting dominion, and his kingdom is from... Gen- this is an unbeliever. This is a testimony. That's a testimony. 
after the dealings that God gave him, this unbeliever, his, his, his understanding was returned unto him. The first utterance was praise to the Most High. He acknowledged that there was a king that was more powerful than himself. And he said, and I praised and honored him that liveth forever. Where did he get this revelation? Whose dominion is an everlasting dominion and his kingdom is from generation to generation. That means in every generation, God will be extending the frontiers of his rule, of his dominion. And you must understand that the conduit pipe through which his rule can come into the earth because God is spirit. The conduit pipe, pipe is man. That was why man was created in the image of God, created in the likeness of God. To be able to step down the realities of God into this frame of reference and bring the influence of God right here. So just in case in your family there are attacks and there's darkness and all kinds of stuff, it is because there are people that are aligned to the kingdom of darkness and they are bringing the realities of that kingdom within that context. Man will always be the conduit pipe to bridge the gap between the supernatural and the natural. And that's the crown position that God placed man in his creation. Making him a very, 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 very uh, veritable object of attack from the kingdom of darkness. Because if the devil controls more hearts, he controls more lands. If Jesus controls more hearts, he controls more lands. So when God comes into your space, the first thing he does is that he conquers your heart. That is what he has achieved in this man. He used his judgment to get the king to testify. I don't know, but if we get to heaven, you might see Nebuchadnezzar there. That's my own personal opinion. You might just see, they say that, that one there is Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> Whose dominion is from, is an everlasting dominion and his kingdom is from generation to generation. Can you see the relationship between dominion and kingdom? So the dominion of God is equivalent to the kingdom of God. God wants to dominate, not just you, your entire village, your community. Your community that worships and reverse Aleku, he wants to take over so that the altar of Aleku will be burnt off. And then he becomes... The governor among the Idoma people. He becomes the ruler among the Igede people. And you are the functionary that will make that happen. Through your yieldedness to him, he will have a platform to stand on to extend his dominion. So the kingdom of God is equivalent to the dominion of God. Yes, next verse there. And all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing and he doeth according to his will in the